all right everybody this is Mehul Mohan from codedam.com and in this tutorial we will be looking at operations on array now these operations are really common and it would help you to have a strong grip on arrays and its working so let's take a look at what you can perform with arrays so let's say if you want to push an element inside this array now usually people would suggest you to make use of array and push or array pop to remove the elements but there's a much nice and clean way to do that and I have I guess always used that and that is to type the name of your array and in front of that only type two square brackets and type an equals to and type the name or the value whatever you want to push so let's say Wow, and uh, let's say let's just keep this for for each my array as e echo. E. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's change it to thirteen. So you see that we got HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Ajax, and wow, because we pushed that. Now in your array you could even delete elements on the basis of index so on the basis of index what you can do is you could make use of something called unset now unset would eventually remove your element but the index would remain same for rest of the elements for example if you do like unset my array zero and you want to run this loop then what you'll get is CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Ajax and WOW but you must remember that since you have unsetted my array 0 that this HTML has been removed it's not that your CSS is now at position 0 it's not that thing CSS is still at position 1 but since we didn't have any 0th element so in for each we didn't got that so if you run that in for for i equals to 0 i is less than um, we have 5 right here i plus plus or uh, not 5 I guess it's 4 0 no it's 5 only okay so let's run echo my array i let's reload this so you see that inside the for loop we got this error notice undefined offset 0 this is because we have already unsetted this 0th element so we need to run it from the first one and since you can see this doesn't push the elements after it is removed so it's like null here null add is at 0 and then one two so basically zeroth element doesn't exist so your indexing is actually starting from one alright so let's just keep it here only so now let's say that you want to remove an element with the help of its name so let's say I want to remove JavaScript I don't know it's where it is placed or what its index is so we can make use of something known as um, array search now array search would eventually return the key of that element which you want to search so let's say if I want key is array search needle and haystack <laughs> very good sublime text so the first argument is the thing you want to search which is kind of needle <laughs> and haystack is your array so if I type my array oh, my array under here so this would return me the index number of that particular element which I'm dealing with so now I can again unset the my array and the key so that's pretty much works the same let's reload this so you see that we got uh, okay so I guess we started with one here so we got HTML CSS and then we got an error because undefined offset 2 
then PHP, then Ajax. Now that is why I recommended the for each loop because it is specifically made to work with arrays so it can handle all that stuff. So we could eventually try that for my array as i and just echo i. So it will deal with all the errors and would present us with a nice little array. So that's it for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll be starting off with something new so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.